Good morning. Welcome to the first ever Soul Leadership Seminar. The theme of today is the student leader who has a why can bear with almost any how. In other words, if you know why you want to do something, then the what and the how will take care of themselves. In your groups, we're going to talk about why, why we're leading clubs or why we want to get involved in clubs or committees, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and the next steps to make it happen. I'm going to tell you one good trait that I see in each person that would make them a good leader. Okay, this student is honest. This student has integrity. And whatever this student does in terms of leadership, you know you can trust her. That's the kind of student who will help create a vision in terms of writing it down and having the team make it happen. So, okay. This student is generous with his time and will give the team whatever they need, even if it takes more time to get something done than was previously expected. The leadership quality the student has is generosity in terms of giving themselves, giving of themselves. So today it's about finding our strengths and taking our leadership skills that we already have to new heights. And we're doing it in the form of a soul. That workbook is 50 pages to take you from the why to the how, and this will take you throughout the whole year. It's not a one stop, we're going to walk out of here and that's it, we're inspired a little bit and it's over. You can take that workbook both in your clubs and committees and in your life and it will take you throughout the whole year to get what you need done and to achieve your goals. So this space is about working, collaborating together to make something really special happen today that will follow throughout the whole year. Thank you for being here, thank you for putting everything aside. The reasons you're here, the reasons why you're here, are because you want confidence as a leader. Those big questions are all around the room. You said you want to work on your presentation skills, yes? You said that you wanted to learn how to collaborate with your peers, yes? You said that you wanted to walk out of here and not have your team disappear halfway through the year, yes? You wanted to find more passion in yourself and everybody else who was also participating in your club or committee. That's why you're here. I want you to write down your core values. When you leave here, you take those goals, you take, sorry, you take those core values or those whys, you revise them. Zappos is still revising. If you go to Zappos' website, their whole company revises their core values. And you know why people will hang around your club or committee or spend when they have two exams and they got into a fight with their friend, why they'll still show up at your meeting? Because of the why, because of this, because of your core values represent not only the people in this room, but everybody in your organization or group. Good morning, everyone. You guys are so cool because you're so aware and you're so connected to what's happening. And I was not that connected or aware when I was your age. I and mean, I didn't have, I can't say I did, didn't have the tools you have now. I had the tools that we had at the time, but the tools you have now are extraordinary. So to have that gift, start a, you know, a forum or a blog, or you can raise money online, or I mean, you can do all these amazing things that I, I never had access to. Um, so I really admire the position you're in right now because I think your generation is it. I mean, it is so important that the, where you're placing yourselves right now is, is going to be it for us or not, you know? So I'm, I'm kind of excited for all of you. So again, I, I, I don't think you can hide when it's genuine. And I think true leaders, I mean, and people like Aung San Suu Kyi or Mandela or any of these people, <coughs> there is a genuine care and concern for the public. And when you know that that's real for someone, you want to fight for them. You want to fight with them. You want to be involved in what their cause is. And, um, and that to me, no matter what area, like you were saying, is mm -hmm. what leadership is about. It's got to start there. We need to empower people to understand what their power is. That's the thing. We all have it. It's how do we harness it? You know, a lot and of the same rules that apply in life, like on the street, on the bus, in your own home, at the dinner table, apply to teams. And I think mutual respect is very important. Uh, I think the most important thing is like the importance of like interpersonal work, right? So like the amount of times that me and my two co-founders over the past four years in building this site have gone at each other, been so frustrated with each other, uh, hated each other, uh, you know, disagreed over stuff. 
and then like went through that cycle together and made up and checked in and hugged and like if that's been by far the thing that separates I've seen a lot of startups now as well, just not just our own. But the thing that separates successful from unsuccessful ones, sometimes it's talent, sometimes it's how good your concept is, but more often than not it's how well the more people who are working on a project together uh, hammered out any subtext or spoken dynamics by talking about it, by showing love to each other, even when it's really hard, and by encouraging each other. Why should we change our diets or our lifestyle um, in order to become optimal performers, whether it's in the classroom or outside of the classroom or in athletics or in business? Why is our diet and lifestyle so important to change? What you put in your body, what you eat, and how you move your body dictates everything. And as a young person, you're, in, you're at the time in your life where you start to develop habits that you're going to take with you for the rest of your life. Eating preferences, uh, habits with respect to fitness. Yes. And it's really important now to educate yourself and to learn about all these things properly so you set yourself up for success later in life. I, I believe that a, a, a vegan or a vegetarian diet is just fine as long as you eat meat. Um, <laughs> you know, you can live healthy on that diet, you know, but it doesn't matter which diet you decide to be on. As long as you have a clean lifestyle that stays away from, you know, heavy sugars and grains, you'll be fine. It doesn't matter if you're a carnivore or a vegan or vegetarian or fruitarian for that matter, as long as you stay away from, from heavy grains. Um, so that's number one. Uh, number two, exercise. I, I can't tell you how important exercises. And I, I always, you know, everyone thinks that they have to jump into a sport all whole hog and just go at it. It's really not that, you know, just anything, just walking, getting out for a walk or a, a light jog with friends or anything of that nature would be great. Uh, and number three, um, I, I call this one taking the garbage out. We've all done that. We've all seen that the garbage is full and we decided to just put it away and close the door and just make it someone else's problem. You know, I'm asking you guys to take the garbage out in life. Take the initiative. When you see that the can is full, don't make it someone else's problem. Take the can, take it outside, empty it. You'll feel better about yourself. You're part of a family. You've just helped not only you, but you've helped your entire family. And you've shown some form of initiative that you could be a leader in your community. So, look, uh, great to be here. Here's what I know about our relationship so far, is that you've already decided whether you like me or not. And you did that within really a fraction of a second of seeing me. Here I am presenting to you right now. And although you don't know entirely what my content is going to be like, you've already decided how good it is. If I knew how your primitive brains function and judge the world, I could give it a signal that would trigger it to put me in a positive category. Notice how you've all become stiller around me, have better eye contact with me. My friend over there doesn't feel so bad about me anymore. Yeah? Notice how quickly his feelings and your feelings about me and my content change. When I place my hands here, which is uh, exactly at belly button height here, navel height here, I show you lots of open hand gestures. This is a universal signal to your primitive brain of no tools, no weapons. Thank you for being here. Thank you for putting everything aside.